Hello, I'm Daniela. In today's video, we're going to discuss how to use a needle threader. Now it's this little tool that's very simple, lightweight, and they break easily, but they're also invaluable, especially as we get older and we want to thread our needles. There are basically two types of needle threaders. They either use a hook or a loop, and I'll show both methods. But I'll also show the method, in case you can't locate your needle threader, of how to use a toothbrush to do the same task. Uh, it doesn't work all the time, but it does work some of the time, and it does help out. I'll also show you some of the things I do to make my needle threaders easier to find and a little more durable. It's just a simple thing of embellishing them with either buttons or paper or even some embroidery floss. So stay tuned. So here are two types of needle threaders and their idea is that they just assist you in threading a needle. Now some people use very small needles and they're really hard to thread, particularly as we get older. So the needle threader is a very valuable tool in some cases. So let me show you how they work. There's two basic types. Again, the premise is the same to thread the needle, but they work slightly differently. Here's your basic, totally generic needle threader. These are found inside little kits. They're very inexpensive. They are basically just a little piece of aluminum with a little wire on the end. And with that wire, and the premise being that you just put it through the eye of your needle, where that little bend is, with the premise being then that you can just thread your floss through that larger loop instead of that thin eye of the needle. And then you can just gently pull that through the eye of the needle and your needle is threaded. Now, as you can tell, this is a larger eyed needle. So it was helpful, but it wasn't as valuable as if say I'm using a needle with a much smaller eye. And so in that case, you'd use thinner thread, but the procedure is the same. I just thread my needle threader through the eye of the needle. Then I take my smallest thread. And then when I slide it through the eye of the needle, it threads the needle for me. So that's why it's so valuable. Now the variations on that as this is the most economical one, there's ones that have little plastic holders. They're a little more comfortable. There's ones that are a little more whimsical with cute little shapes. This one's a little more durable. It's got this little rubber strawberry. And then there's this one, which is retractable. Now the reason the retractable one is so valuable is because a lot of times, eventually over use, this little wire will pull out. It can easily get caught on something and tug out when you pick it up. And so by having a retractable one, it's pretty handy. Sometimes these retractable ones also come with a thread cutter on the other side. So it serves its purpose quite well. I like to just buy a package of these of say 30 to 100, and then I make a few on my own. These are just covered with buttons and I'll show you that later. And here I used a game piece, some paper, and just some table scatter. And this just gives me something a little more substantial to hold on. And I can see my loop a little bit easier in these cases. I can actually find it better and I'm less likely to have it tangle up. But it serves the same purpose. It's just a little more decorative for me. The other type of needle threader doesn't involve a loop at all. It has a little hook. Now this hook is very help helpful as well. Again, if I start with my largest needle, I just put the largest hook I can through the needle and it's a little bit easier, at least for me, to find because this is stiff and I can feed it through the eye of the needle quite easily. I drape my thread over that hook, having it caught in that hook, and then when I remove my needle, my needle is threaded. So it's very handy. And again, this is the most economical version. It's just a little piece of aluminum. And now the downside is that it has two sizes, but the small size isn't small enough to go through many needles because it has to really go through the needle as well as bring the needle to the very edge. So a few needles might fit in but don't go past that. So it really cuts down on the number of needles that it's effective for just based on the size. So to make those a little easier to find and a little more adorable to use, 
I've attached buttons to this one as well. Over here I've wrapped embroidery floss around it. Just makes it colorful and easy to find. And over here I just put some washi tape around the center. Now this technique works the same way as the dual edged needle threader. I personally haven't found it to work very well. It works great for the larger needles. I can easily feed my needle through, put my thread down and pull it through the eye of the needle. But once I get to my finer needles, even though my hook will go through easily, I find that I have a hard time getting my thread through that hook. So I have my thread and then when I pull my it, when I pull it through the eye of the needle I really struggle so I don't find these as valuable as they might appear at first because it's got the little hook but that hook is a little thicker and it doesn't really work for me very well so if I'm going to use this type of needle threader this is the one I gravitate towards and not this one now there's one other method that you might be able to use in a pinch and that's using your toothbrush. Perhaps you've seen this on TikTok and various places where I take my toothbrush and this is a clean toothbrush that I use in my sewing room. So then you lay your thread across the bristles of the toothbrush. You take your needle, putting it right on top of that thread, push it down and it sometimes pushes through the needle. Now, that worked very well for me. I wasn't expecting that to work because I've tried it a number of times and it doesn't always work. So it does require a little patience. I also used a needle with a very large eye. If I was to switch to a smaller eyed needle, I'm not sure I'd have such luck. Again, I go parallel to it and work it down. And as you can see, it's a little more challenging. So in a pinch, it may work. It may work under the right conditions and if you had the proper thread. So using cotton pearl, I'll put it on my bristles of my toothbrush, lay my needle parallel. This is needle has a very small hole, so perhaps this isn't the best one to try it with, but I don't have any luck. I'll take some just little sewing thread, some quilting thread that I'd use in my machine. And maybe I'd have more luck. Again, I wanna push it down parallel to the way that thread is running. So I get the most thread going through the eye of the needle and then it works. So really the toothbrush will work if you have the proper size thread for your needle. So now to just embellish the standard and most economical needle threaders, I'll show you what I do. For the standard needle threader here, this little quite thin aluminum one, I can just take it and cut it down to size. And I just cut off that rounded piece over here. I chose this button because it fits perfectly and I want to glue it to the button so that the only thing sticking out is that wire. So I have my E6000 glue. You can use any professional glue. You can use any industrial strength glue. I just put a little dab on both of the buttons. Not so much that it comes out, but enough so that it will attach. And then I'll just give it a minute to dry. And I'll do the same thing over here for these papers that I just cut out with a paper punch. And these are just little rectangular ticket or labels. So once I have the glue, I just give it a minute to set. And then I'll take one piece either the button or the little paper, and I set my needle threader right on it, and I press it down in the glue, and I take the other piece and just attach it firmly and snugly, and I make sure that the only thing sticking out is that little wire. I'll press down to give it a nice, strong adhesion, and then I set it aside to dry for four to six hours take my other needle threader where I trimmed the round part off, put it in between the buttons and attach it that way. Again, I hold it firmly and then I'll set it aside somewhere where it won't be bumped and it can dry overnight or so. 
Now, to embellish this needle minder, I'd use the same procedure, where I would take two buttons of the same size that fit in between these two pieces and just glue it in the same formation. Or I could just take a little glue, dab it on the needle finder, and wrap around some embroidery floss. It just gives it a little something to hold on to. Or the easiest way of all just to mark it is to take some tape. I used washi tape. You can easy, easily use masking tape or even a pretty duct tape if you'd like. And that just helps it to really stand out in your stash and it makes it a little fun to work with. So that's how I embellish my needle threaders, just to make them easier to find and a little more comfortable on the hands. I don't expect the needle threader to last a lifetime. It's very easy to misplace and it does break, especially those little loops, but I do find it valuable. Have you tried the toothbrush technique? What do you think? Comment below and thanks for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe.